Welcome back, Naughty Gang. This is part two part of the revolutionary two. story of Blackpink. Wait, From the Asian Theory. The revolution, a story of Blackpink yeah. by Asian Theory. Yeah. Part two. So if you have not seen part one, go watch that first. Yes. And come go back. check out part one. And go then if you haven't Asian subscribed theory. after I asked you to the first part, <laughs> why not subscribe now? Why not? Yeah. That's a, good, that's a good point. It is a good point. But okay, we're gonna get back into part two. So let's do this. <laughs> As the group that would target the Western audience and preferences. Precisely why this group was picked with three fluent English speakers, two Japanese speakers, with the other two learning. And two speakers. Oh, I didn't that, know that is super cool, man. Like to just be that like bilingual, trilingual, you know, just yeah. in general, like. Especially if you're an artist making music, because oh, they man. dominated Korea, obviously, yeah. but then also dominated Japan, yeah. and then also in America, dude. That's yeah. crazy. Super cool. Killer. Killer marketing. Super, super cool. And two speakers with basic Mandarin. This is to target the two biggest markets in the world, and the most oh, populated right. country in US, the world. Japan, but I guess Germany, Germany UK. UK. Oh, you said France. UK. As third. I did, yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, I didn't know Germany was like that. But I guess yeah, they do Germany. have a big rock scene and uh, some other yeah, stuff. Yeah. France, so then Korea. Korea. Is, mm, interesting. Well, well, now we know. Now we know. Uh, the group is one of the most skilled multilingual speaking groups in the industry. Lisa, at crazy. this point, is a walking Google Translate app. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> she forgot that she could speak four languages. That's pretty cool. Maybe more. That's crazy. This next big marketing move will be yeah, referred to as actually, the. Actually, like their whole come up, their whole story is just yeah. their music. It's cool, man. It's cool. It's super, super cool. As if it's your last strategy. When Blackpink debuted in 2016, they had two singles. Then just three short months later, they came back with the singles Playing With Fire and Stay. And That's fans nuts. were excited because it seemed... Three months later? Can you imagine? Just wait. Learning all the dancing, oh, so I'm like filming music videos. Damn, bro. After watching their just them like training beforehand. Yeah. Their I mean, workhorses, they yeah. They would be the ones to do it. Yeah, be able they, to they work pretty damn hard. Yeah seemed like the group was consistently coming out with new music. Then, seven months later, in June of 2017, As If It's Your Last hit the deck like Pam Pam Pam. It was an exciting <laughs> single with bright aesthetics and a hot beat. If It Is but Your Last, have you seen that? I haven't, no. Oh, we haven't seen that yet. We'll have to check that out too. Damn, we just got a handful of songs we haven't seen yet. Oh, no, That's a all lot it was. Them. A single, no album, no b-sides. The name As If It's Your Last was truly a fitting name for Blackpink because it felt like, well, it was their last single. Wow. And for the next year, the airwaves were silent. Wow. The fans were furious, annoyed, dejected, but most importantly, they were hungry. A lot of you guys are asking for our comeback. It's hard to ignore because it hurts my feelings. <laughs> just to read them and just ignore. I'm not ignoring guys, it's just that we are not too sure, so. I'm sorry. Don't <laughs> give up. They're, they're, honestly, that's not even that long to be gone for like a yeah. year and then your uh, fans go crazy. All. It's like, where the f are you guys? You guys are busting shit out in three where months. Where the f are you guys? What the f <laughs> Come the f I used back. to look every three months and you had single after <laughs> single. And now you have nothing and it's been a whole year? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But they, 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 okay. One thing we learned. The Blinks are a crazy fan base. So here's, here's the thing, I can though. only imagine what they're, how many comments oh, and yeah. everything they're getting but it, during listen, that Listen time. to this real quick, though. It's by design. A lot 100%. of times when you're on top, how you make people more hungry for your music instead of getting it saturated is you let them starve a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, like that's like you let you well, let your you let your music you already have saturate. Yeah, everyone will keep buying that yeah, up because they want more out. and more. And then when you drop the new stuff, it's the biggest thing on the planet. It might have not have been their call too. That's what I was saying. It was YG. probably the record label. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, guys, let's not give up, <laughs> both of us. <laughs> The fans thirsted for any piece of Blackpink content they could find their hands on. <laughs> Rumors, yeah. mashups, fan art, 
YouTube theories, the reality TV <laughs> show Black YouTube Pink theories. House. Finally, in June 2018, the famine was doubling Blackpink's entire discography the from five famine. to nine songs. Damn. And immediately, Blackpink knocked that and got another banger. As Damn, mentioned earlier, Doo 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 became the most viewed video in 24 hours in YouTube history. See, it worked. It See, worked. it starred the fans, dropped one of their biggest songs ever, and then boom, world records. And eventually became the most viewed K pop group video of all time with 1.2 wow. billion views. Wow. So it seemed like YG's strategy had worked. Here I have outlined a 100%. See? It was all designed, man. It was all designed. Percent foolproof YG plan. Step one starve the fans for a year. What did I just say? <laughs> Dude, what did. <laughs> I freaking Star called that, dude. Maybe we should not post a YouTube video for one Man, am I a genius? Should I, should I go start a K-pop group, girl group? <laughs> I think I know how to do it. <laughs> I think you do too. Damn. It's all this damn K-pop we be watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to put it all together. I got the roadmap right yeah. here. It's right here. <laughs> and eventually became the most viewed K-pop group crazy. video of all time with 1.2 billion views. So it seemed like YG strategy yes, has no worked. I outlined a 100% foolproof YG. Low key, they called me up and I told them what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, hey, this is what you gotta do. You gotta starve the fans and then drop, drop a nasty single. <laughs> Plan. Step one, starve the fans for a year. Mm -hmm. Step two, tease them a little. Give them a little bit of this, a little, a little bit of bit that. that. <laughs> step three, release. Drop the single that's too hot to handle. Oh, and God. the last step is dominate the charts. Kill them and stack up my millions. <laughs> Damn. Now, this is a risky strategy, but in economics, this is called the scarcity principle. Yeah. If there is very little of a product, in other words, if a product or service is scarce, more people will deem it to be of high quality, driving up demand. How many times have you seen advertisements that say limited time offer or while supplies now, last? Quick. Scarcity yeah. creates demand. It's gonna be people gone. want what they can't have. See, it, it's just it's just common sense nowadays. Like people yeah. will certainly understand this. It's like. Like, for example, like if you want a computer graphics card, right? They're so uh, expensive right now and they're all they're, sold out. So when product. a new line of graphics cards come out, it's like the hottest thing. It's like there's not any to go around. So it's when a example. new one comes out, you want it. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it's all there and is. Other people will buy like triple the amount to try to resell it. Yeah, and all but that. So who gets screwed sold. out of this whole thing? The fans. Yeah, the fans the are consumers, the man. They're playing with the emotions yeah. of the fans. But um, but it's cool now they're doing solo stuff too. So yeah. like you not not only is there Blackpink content, but there's solo yeah. artists Blackpink stuff. So it's cool. True that. K-pop fans hate it, but it really <laughs> is a genius move. Other K-pop groups wouldn't here. be able to pull it off. K-pop groups depend on constant promotions and comebacks to create brand awareness. Yeah. But Blackpink's brand awareness stats are already maxed out at level 99. <laughs> there isn't a K-pop fan alive who doesn't know who Blackpink is, so they're able to use this method to build demand. Additionally, YG built Blackpink with the intention of expanding globally, specifically westward. I know for K-pop fans, a year break is a long time, but for Western standards, pause a it, year pause would actually it, pause it. That's exactly what we were just saying. Like a year ain't saying. that long out. Yeah, there. but they're saying K-pop. Yeah, it's a long time. that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's interesting. So. Man, a lot of stuff also, I'm saying to make first, a lot of sense, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> and, and they're the first one that, that we heard of too. So True. their their marketing was pretty good. Yeah, if that's yeah the first. Korean pop music we even react to, yeah. period. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's bring this back a little bit because he's, he's dropping some facts here. He's dropping some bombs, dude. Let's go give him a, a sub. Yeah, he's, if you haven't subscribed to Asian Theory, yeah. please do. This guy is pretty cool. Pink's yeah. brand awareness stats are already maxed out at level 99. <laughs> there isn't a K pop fan alive who doesn't know who Blind Pink is. So, they're yeah, able yeah, to use like this it. method to build demand. Additionally, YG built Blackpink with the intention of expanding globally, specifically westward. I know for K-pop fans, a year break is a long time, but for Western standards, a year would actually be considered a very fast comeback. Yeah, Ed Sheeran yeah. usually has a two to three year break yeah. in between his albums. And he's a beast Pharrell too. hasn't released an album since 2014. Wow. Queen is still active and performing and going on tours, but they haven't released new music for 24 years. So with that perspective in mind, is one year really that long? Awesome screen, awesome camera, long lasting. Is that them? That was them, but then this ad was sneaking up on us. I saw it. Whoa, dude. Voice oh, battery back. life. I think that was your ad, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's literally Music, feels like a movie. Choreography, right? a great marketing team. Those are all great things to have. 
But what really draws people to Blackpink are the heroines of Blackpink themselves. Mm. Park Chaeyoung, Lalisa Manoban, Kim Jisoo, and Jenny Kim. Whether yeah. it be their charm, yeah. their personality. Their that reminds me, I was, uh, when we were reacting to um, Asia Theory's BTS, um, The Most Beautiful Life Goes On, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we didn't really know how the surnames worked with the. Oh yeah, names. they were. Uh, yeah, so we were like, is his name first. Kim? We were like, oh, like both? but yeah. it's the last name. It's the last yeah. name. You, it, sometimes when they pronounce their uh, their surnames, they'll say their last name first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now we know. We now we're know. We're still learning. Their story or their amazing talent. There is something about each of them that makes a fan want to follow them devote their life or possibly even <laughs> worship them. Oh. Lisa was born in 1997 with the name Pranpriya Manoban in Thailand. Early in her childhood, she met with a fortune teller who said she should change her name to Lalisa, as this name would bring her immense luck. And what? What? We didn't know that. <laughs> Why have we ever run into a fortune teller? I know, dude. The hell is wrong with us? We go to the Philippines. We go find some fortune tellers somewhere. <laughs> what does Lalisa actually mean? Translation? The one who is praised. Fast forward a decade later and the name could not be more true. She is the most popular global idol in the world by a huge margin. On Instagram, she has 38 million followers, making her the 90th most followed account in the world. Of the top 100 wow. accounts, she had the most engagement with 21% of her audience engaging with Lisa. For a comparison, uh, the top 5 accounts, the official Instagram Cristiano account Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, Ariana <laughs> Grande, The Rock, and Kylie Jenner, have an engagement of 1.55%. In 2019, she was the most searched and trending idol according to Google. Her star power was such that even her legs alone went viral all over the world with people like Stephen Colbert, James Corden, Lil Nas so and thousands of others parodying no. the meme. People That's love weird. Lisa. People want to be Lisa. People praise Lisa. That's so funny. I didn't That's know crazy. Lisa was like like that big when we first reacted to to Blackpink, mm -hmm. and we were like kind of like joking around. Like, oh, we'll pick our favorite. Oh, girl, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, I was like, honestly, I, was like, honestly, I can't I pick like, now to be honest. I was like, <laughs> and then damn, like yeah, yeah Lisa's big. It's crazy, mm -hmm. crazy. Well deserved though. She's super talented. Like she's like really good dancer, rapper. Her singer, uh, rap like, presence is her like, stage presence too. Like live, they all look good live. But freaking Lisa just puts on this crazy yeah, on the, show on dude. the Netflix doc when they walked out for the Coachella. She's like, like you hyping them up like, and stuff. Well, she's super into it. She was yeah. hyping them up, but you could tell she's kind of nervous. But then when she walked on, she's like, <sighs> and just like walked got, on. Got into character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What is it about Lisa that draws people to her? Look at you, now look at her. Well, first and foremost, she is the pinnacle of dancing prowess in the industry. She was able to beat out thousands of other hopefuls in Thailand at the 2010 YG auditions because she was the best dancer and best performer by miles and miles. She is, she can be very, very sexy and very, very cute. She has perfect control of her body. She can take a yeah. move yeah. that would look awkward on anybody and make it look amazing. You watch her and all you want to do is dance. When she dances, you can see That's that she has true. flame in her veins. It's her dance insane. is like crash. It's true. She's stylish. It's, it's she, honestly like, true. Like, even all the other girls like um, Blackpink uh, in the Netflix documentary were talking about how like good they were she like, is. she is born to do this. Yeah. And they're just as good as her. But they're yeah. saying that she, she's better than them. Yeah. Like, at dancing and stuff. But, like, it's crazy. Like, Pretty nuts. Killing everything in her way she's wild and not only that, Lisa just has such a lovable personality. She's funny, she's cute, she's cheerful. She's just a ball of sunshine and optimism. You can be sure that she'll be kicking your- Unless she's training you how to do your K-pop oh, dancing. She was, training, she she was like, brutal. She's, she's like was, Simon Cowell of freaking oh, uh, American dude. Idol. She was 100%. like- she was like training some girls to do some uh, K-pop routine. She's like, what is that? What She's is like, why are you making that face? Why are you doing this? Like, <laughs> I told you not to do that. Like, <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> but they went through that too when they were training. Yeah. So, so it makes sense. On the door to everyone's heart in your area. Rosie was born in 1997 in Auckland, New Zealand as Park Cheyang. She later moved to Melbourne, Australia when she was 7 and spent most of her life there. Originally, Rosie did not believe that becoming a K-pop idol was in the cards for her, yeah, but dude, her father encouraged her to follow her dreams. Opposite spectrum, her singing and stuff. Yeah. It's so cool, looking up a guitar and singing too. Like, at such a young age, like yeah. to know you want to do that, like yeah. that, it's it's pretty cool. That's what she's. You gotta have like parent guidance and stuff too. Yeah. 
You auditioned for YG in Australia? Yes, like literally like just an open audition. W why'd you do it? Because my dad told me to. <laughs> See, that is so freaking cool. See, that's what I've been telling you, remember? Like growing up, I was like kind of joking. I was like, our parents yeah. screwed us and like let us go to these well, things. There was gonna be go no, to show. There was going to be no way they are going to have me do MMA. I mean, they, they tell me all the sure, time. Sure, sure, sure. But so I'm, I'm, I'm just show. saying like, dude, Rosé might never have been in Blackpink if her dad that's true. didn't tell her to go try out for that YG. It's yeah, kind of crazy. True. <laughs> Rose stated, in Australia, I didn't think that there was much of a chance for me to become a singer, especially Great. to become a K-pop star. I was living so far from the country that it never really occurred to me as a possibility. Insane. And from day one, Rose was noted for her amazing golden vocals. In the 2012 audition that City, pause she beat out- Pause it. Yeah. That reminds me of BTS, how uh, one of the dudes that kept getting approached- Oh yeah. Coming, sing or do anything yeah god and i i can't remember his name but yeah so the story was um there was uh there's a guy in uh bts who uh was just a good looking dude and yeah on the streets they found the him. What, what were they called big um uh, big something big i forgot what the other um agency was called yeah but they were just looking for talent and he yeah. thought they were just some like scam yeah he didn't even talk things. to him for like years yeah and then they came and tried to get and then, then the same the same agency comes back and and it was like hey we want you and then he realizes oh this is oh this is actual but they, they tried to get him years ago <laughs> just because how good looking he was dude it's so it's funny probably better that they didn't though or he would but yeah. the funny thing was it came full circle mm -hmm. like like it like mm -hmm. it like the opportunity had presented itself but then it came back to him because he had those takes <laughs> yeah crazy cool cool 700 other hopefuls placing first. Because of her unique voice as a 16 year old, she was placed on a track called Without You, with the biggest name in K-pop at the time, G-Dragon. Since you then of course she's that. debuted with Blackpink, captivating not only with her prominent singing, but with her sweet charm, kind heart, <laughs> and innocent wholesomeness. All the times that you Pickles are so sick. That Ed Sheeran song. Yeah. Performed by Justin. Yeah, Bieber. exactly. That's Ed Sheeran's song. That's Ed, Ed Sheeran's Sheeran song. wrote that. Yeah. And you can tell. Like, like there's a lot of songs though. that he writes for people, dude. It's kinda of yeah. crazy. But dude, I love that so song. Good. That song when I first heard from Justin Bieber, I was like, damn, that's a good song. Yeah. But everybody's covering that song. Yeah. If there's some yeah, rose covers we need to listen to, let us know. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Let us know. What rose covers? I like you. Got me she does a lot. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Damn. Okay. Hey, she has a bunch. Wow. Yo. <laughs> then, there's Wait. Kim Jisoo. Ad comes in. Ad. Ad. Oh. Team Mobile's no. Why do we suffer through these ads in our YouTube rooms? It takes us one glance, and immediately you're hit with her immaculate visuals, and you're not alone. That's what the talent scouts at YG notice about Jisoo, yeah. recognized as being one of the greatest visuals in K-pop today. She's a model for Kiss Me, Cartier, Burberry, and of course, oh, one of Dior's muses. Wow. You wouldn't have Dior. guessed it by a first glance, but Jisoo is actually the comic relief of the group. In terms of variety skills and humor, <laughs> Jisoo is easily the best in the group. She's yeah. wacky, funny, she's and eccentric. In Korea, she's what's referred to as having a 40 personality. She's a complete goofball, which is what we're 40 personality. Why not 100? Well, no, I think they're talking about like, she's like... Oh, a 4D, it's like 3D, but 4D. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. okay, I thought it was like 40... The number. Or maybe it's four. It could have been forty. I don't know. Interesting. I don't, well, I guess. Drop it in the comments. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he will explain it. Let's Most yeah, fans yeah. love about her, whether it's just being a complete jokester, prankster, or balancing bottles. What's certain <laughs> oh, is she does that, that she won't be leaving fans bored. <laughs> yeah. That was something we saw the, the oh, Netflix documentary. Yeah. She like randomly like, tries to just stack things on her head and balance it. It's kind of funny. She almost got caught. <laughs> My heart so bounce. Okay. <laughs> and, and you're like, yeah, like English isn't her strongest thing, so it's always funny. Like oh, when she actually thing. like tries, like she's like, they're like having interviews and stuff. Everyone's she talking English, the and then it's her turn to talk, and then everyone's just kind of listening, and she just like <laughs> tries her hardest. Like it's so cool and really cute. And it's funny, funny cuz they clown on her, and like yeah, it's all good fun. But she's gotten though. better. She's gotten yeah. better too. Yeah. True. Lastly, of course, is Jenny Kim. Oh. Many people are calling her the queen of K-pop. Despite debuting just four yeah, years ago, beast. ever since she was revealed as a trainee back in 2012, she has been making waves. It seemed like people even as a trainee, Jenny was destined for yeah, greatness, Lisa, making her first MV appearance. 
hard, you know, not competition, but like to shine. One and two, while, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean they're like their own competition at that point. Yeah, hundred you know I mean? percent. The two of them, it's kind of crazy. In 2012, as a 16-year-old in G Dragon's XX, and then even joining him on stage later for Black Black, she was Damn. easily the most popular female idol in Korea of 2019. Topping Crazy. the brand rankings, wow. she earned first place six out of the twelve See, months. Recently, her solo Crazy. song, fittingly named "Solo," was a monster oh, hit, yeah. becoming yes. the most viewed music video Damn by Chad. female artist with five hundred million views. Yeah, Many people who know her personally describe her as being charming and sweet. On screen, she appears to be this fierce, powerful, bulletproof diva, but in real life, she's actually a sweet softie. That's literally what remember we figured out after watching the Yeah, documentary. remember in the yeah. Netflix thing? She's like, yeah, I want to do more girly stuff. <laughs> yeah, I want to do more the the pink side of Blackpink. <laughs> yeah. That's that pretty funny, dude. <laughs> and is the poster child of badass, of girl crush, of ferocity. She is the princess of YG, the human Chanel, the Dang, it girl crazy. of Korea. Yeah. The person everyone loves to hate. Some look at her with envy, while hate. others look at her with admiration. Some people hate her. Say, Many, how, how can you hate? That's what people are saying because of like the weird like. I thought more people were like hating on Lisa because she wasn't full Korean. I thought that's what I heard. Oh, but that's yeah. what I heard too. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what the whole deal is. I with guess Jenny. We'll I think never, they just I, ever not. There's, there's still more to learn, I guess. I I think what it is is that they don't really get to know them. Just like I'm talking about face value. Just when you watch a music video, you don't know their personalities. You have yeah, these opinions 100%. about people. You know what I mean? Yeah. But once you get to know them, they're all really sweet and nice. Yeah. So it's it's, it's yeah. The real Many people side. love her. Yeah, but everybody knows her. Oh, did we, did we see that too? Yeah, that, that, that was, was solo. So, okay, that was solo. Yeah, 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 that was crazy. Yeah, that was the end part of solo. I'm pretty sure. Together, they become the most powerful the and the one most Chad? hype girl group. Yeah, the oh, damn Chad. That damn Chad. Freaking Chads be ruining these girls. <laughs> Gotta rid the worlds of chads. Yeah, them damn chads. <laughs> In K-pop history, the world is theirs for the taking. Everywhere they show up, blows up. Currently, YG is sitting on the big. Look at this guy's shirt. That's definitely a black pink shirt, one hundred percent. Dude, fan art too. Like oh, yeah. Anime looking. Oh yeah. Gold mine in K-pop history. No way, Their that's potential cool. is limitless. YG just needs to play his cards right, and currently, he has a royal flush, but <laughs> he actually yeah. needs to play them and let the girls of Blackpink shine. Yeah. Blackpink I recently hit their four-year anniversary. Job, Oh, whatever said, dude. They're, th YG knows what the hell they're doing, oh, for dude. sure. At this point, no you doubt. can't tell them shit. Yeah. <laughs> they, they know what they're doing, mm -hmm. 100%. But, uh, yeah. A couple days ago, and to date, they've only had 17 songs. And I know that's frustrating for a lot of Blinks who are yeah. just done with waiting. <laughs> I know you gotta be tired. I like that sad tone in his voice. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's sad like, tone. like, like he, he's like, he's actually speaking for the blinks. Yeah, he, he's yeah. part, he's part of the sad group. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, I understand, man. And like, um, I, me and Thomas are a big fan of MGK, and like, kind of yeah. the same thing happens with him. Is like, yeah. um, the, his label makes him slow down and like produces music at a certain pace. Eminem and then, too, dude. Yeah. But Eminem does. Eminem does his own thing point. at his own yeah. time. You know what I mean? At this level, drops but, it whenever the hell he wants. I guess. It, it's uh, it's it's how they can make the most revenue. Yeah. Um, oh, want to know who's someone tricks. that uses this same like tactic? Hmm. NF. NF. He goes. He disappears. Yeah. And, like starves people. Talk to his fans and then yeah. just drops his album. Surprise yeah. album. That that's again. It's a way to it's a way to like starve them, make them want more, and then yeah. when it comes, they're all obsessed with it. He's so good. When the night gets dark, let them be your fire. <laughs> when it gets dark, let them be your fire. <laughs> man, he does good videos. Man. He does, yeah, yeah. It's another good video. Is that the end? Yeah, I think this was this could be a part one for Man, he does good videos, man. <laughs> that was pretty sick, dude. What the heck is this? BTS? Yes, yes. Wait, I, I was gonna let that finish, but I don't know if that, like, no, Q6 can get copy just... striked, so I was like, wanted to pause it, so. Hey, but, well, that was pretty cool, was man. Sick, I think man. we learned a little bit of new stuff. Yeah, it but makes me is, want to is check there out a... more of their uh, yeah. stuff. Well, I was gonna say, is there other Blackpink videos 
get to know them, cool things we should check out. I know people have been telling us to check out the the Lily films, which we will get to those eventually. Oh, yeah. That's definitely on our list. Um, the Juso um, stuff. Yeah, Solo. Yeah. But then there's so much Blackpink after just watching that that we didn't see. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's. I mean, we get so many comments now, it's yeah. kind of hard to fish through. Wait, did I say Juso? I meant Jisoo. Yeah, Jisoo. Right. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I said, though, it's hard. There's so many comments. Too. I know, yeah. We're, we're trying to get to them all. It's just like we only have so much time in a day, and we both yeah. work full-time. Eventually, we are going to do this full-time, and yeah. you can help us out by subscribing to Patreon yeah. and uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel. That will help yeah. us out so we can be full-time so we can do more of this stuff. Yeah. We want to do reactions. We want to drop vlogs and all types of stuff. But that's it for today. So, But, yeah, Aww. if you guys liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know what to react to next down below. And with that, you're goddamn right. <laughs> Naughty Brothers, out. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Goodbye. <laughs>